Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm gonna go do the exhaust today. Um, kind of an early day at work. Was there for like an hour or two. Um, so, I'm home at like, I don't even know what time it is, 11 a.m. maybe? I think he wants to go with us, so I'm just gonna bring him. I feel like every one of my videos starts off with me walking to my car, of course. Good boy. So I'm just gonna show you guys the reason why we're doing this exhaust pipe and it's basically because of the rasp. Um, which it has because it doesn't have a resonator. Uh, I'll try to capture that rasp on this short drive. Uh, it's pretty obvious and it's pretty damn loud. See, look right here, it's quiet, but if I step on it... bad because he gets really scared from all the pops. Other than that, he's a really good dog, I swear. See, you'll, hear, you'll, you'll hear the rasp right here. Ta-da! So that's the whole setup. That's basically where it connects to the headers and that's the whole exhaust. That's literally it. Boom. This is the pipe that replaces that. As you can see, that only has one resonator. And now on that pipe where it doesn't have a resonator, it now has a resonator right there. So that's all we're swapping is that first section. Back section is still not gonna have a muffler or anything. It's still just gonna be a 90 degree to the left. You can literally see they're the exactly the same thing. It's just the resonator's the difference right there. So I just got finished with the fuel pump as you can see, it was absolutely horrible. Um, I had to like unthread a fitting. I didn't even bother recording it because you wouldn't really understand what I'm doing anyway. It's like such a stupid process, but it's in there. Um, the old one was pretty clogged, so hopefully it makes a difference. Um, I have cutouts sometimes between two, three RPM, uh, two to three thousand RPM while like cruising, and sometimes it like hits like a fuel cut, so maybe it was like a clogged fuel pump or fuel filter. Um, but now I'm just going to throw the exhaust back in and then I'll be done for today. So I'm actually done now. I put on the exhaust as you saw. It's all solid. It's really easy to do with an impact gun. It's four bolts. Um, so I'm just going to start it now. I'm going to start it while it's on its side so I can see if the fuel pump, uh, the fuel filter, keep calling it a fuel pump, is leaking at all.
I think it sounds a lot better. I don't know what you guys think, but it's like a little bit deeper. It still gets raspy when you floor it, but the the original concern was between two and three thousand, like cruising, you know, RPMs, like normal acceleration or cruising on the highway. It was a horrible, and now it's fine. But once you get to like four K up, it's still horrible. But you know, I knew that already. You know, if, if I'm flooring it, I expect it to be loud. If I'm just cruising, I kind of wanted a little bit, you know, more doable. But I'm super dirty, so I'm gonna go take a shower and. After that, I'm going to go, like I said, look at houses with Rachel um, to lease. Hopefully, they have a garage. But I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow or something like that. If not, I'll, if I don't make a video tomorrow, I'll probably just stream instead because that's like what I like to do on the days that I don't do car stuff. So thanks for watching as always, guys. See you next time.